Hey friends, it's your girl Danielle, but you can call me Donnie B. Welcome back to another weekly laundry routine. In today's routine, I'm going to be doing a little laundry, some cleaning, a little cooking. So if you are in the need of loads and loads of laundry motivation, stay tuned and keep watching. As most of you know, I do work from home, so I just clocked out. I'm on my way to go and pick up the boys, but before I do so, I want to go ahead and get my laundry day started. So I'm gonna throw the boys' clothes in the wash, and then I am going to move forward from there as far as going to pick them up. Keep the moves on tuck, I know what's all up. Everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know what's all good. Know what's all love. Know what's all love. Hey y'all, so I am back from picking up the boys. Right, I am checking on my dinner. I started dinner earlier today. Uh, while I was working, I came and put a roast in the uh, crock pot. My husband wanted a Sunday meal during the weekday. But hey, what he asked for, he gets. So I have a roast in the crock pot, making some greens, some yams, and um, some rice. So the with the uh, gravy that's made from the roast, put that on top of the rice. So let's see what's going on. So here is my roast, roasting away. And then as far as my greens go, I like to make a broth or whatever before I put my greens in it. So, I have a smoked turkey leg and a tip of a wing. That's just what was left in the uh, freezer. I mean, the wing I could have left, the tip of the wing I could have left it out, but baby, that's flavor. Um, and it was the last of what I had in the freezer. It has some onions and bell peppers. And I am just going to use some Maggie's to put in there. This Maggie's right here. Instead of just using chicken broth, I'm gonna use that. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there. I'm not gonna put too much because I don't wanna be too salty because you can add, but you cannot take away. But later on, you can actually uh, add more water and you know dilute it a little more. But yeah, so this is what I'm working with right now. And then I am going to wash up my grape. We have some collard greens that are pre-bagged. All right, so these collard greens are pre-bagged. Got these from Walmart. And I am just going to give them a thorough clean and take out the big stems. You see like the big stems right there? I don't like those. I'm gonna take those out. And we gonna get to getting, then I'm gonna do some yams. I keep them over here. Some yams over there, so. I don't know how, oh how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming, there's no way back now. Take every inch of my body, wanna dance with you all night long. Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this. Come on and show me what you got. Cause
this Come on and show me what you got Cause I don't care If they think we're mad to be falling in love with you I'll do it again and again and again and again wondering where this load's coming from because I have not dried any clothes completely as of yet. This is a load that was washed midweek because I, as I told you before my husband goes to the gym so he kind of runs through his gym clothes really quickly. So these were thrown into the wash and so I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to fold them up and put them back up in his, um, his drawers for him so he can have some clothes to go to the gym in later. <laughs> Notice, but in this video I have tried to limit my talking just to see um, how you guys would like it so leave down in the comments do you like the way that I stretched out the talking here or would you prefer for me to talk you through my process more um, or if you like the vlog style the way that I introduced to you what I was cooking for dinner just let me know
we just try, baby, try, try, try. All right, transparent moment coming here. I have neglected to make sure that I clean out these laundry bins. I do spray them with um, a disinfectant spray, but as you can see here, you know, there have been some things that have been on clothes. Maybe it was food, or also when the clothes are wet, they're going into my laundry sorter, and so that's building up like mildew and fungus and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this Gain Scented Clean freak mr. clean y'all this stuff smells so good um, it smells like a freshly laundered load of clothing it smells so good so I'm going to use that since I'm in my laundry room and I want I love that laundry smell and scent I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out as you can see it is waterproof so it was not very difficult in order to clean out so three out of these four beans were like this at the bottom but that one was was the worst one the other ones were not as bad but again that comes from putting like wet towels and wet clothes you know sweaty gym clothes and stuff like that in there and if some food is on some of the boys clothes sometimes it drops down into this bin and it doesn't get cleaned out until moments like this so if you have sorters like this, make sure that you're going through and keeping them clean because I would hate for you to be spreading and cross-contaminating bacteria and things of that nature. for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.